Celsius heat. Mango of the tango. Oh. Let's give it a whirl. Mango. I like mango. Mango is actually one of my favorites. Smells good. Oh, that's good shit. Mango tango. All right, so we are back at the Revive Gym where we're gonna be doing some hamstrings with some back. Um, I normally do like back and hamstrings, but we already did our primary back day. So today we're gonna do more focus on hammies with a little bit of back touch up. Um, I'll see how this goes. I might like it, I might not. We'll see. Um, so we're gonna start with the seated leg curl here. Um, I seen in one of Ian's videos, they did like focus on a true hard negative into like a rest pause set of like 20 to 30 reps. So obviously you can't go too heavy when you push the weight drastically when you're going really slow on negative. So I'm gonna see what I can do if I like it and give it a try. Gotta warm up first. Those negatives get you every time. That's some bullshit. All right, put on the next set. They actually dropped the weight a little bit. I'm trying to get higher reps. I did another rest pause for 30, but I want to do my 10 to 10 method where we change the resistant pattern. Like you've seen in previous videos. That's, I love doing that. I think that pump is stupid. All right, so second exercise now, we're gonna do the outer thigh machine. When I focus on my quad days, I normally do the inner machine. So today we're gonna do the outer machine. And we'll do this second.
All right, so we'll do the same thing that we did over there. We'll do the 10 to 10 method. Just fuck you up, man. It's a good change. Boom. Alright, so the third movement we're gonna do for hamstrings is the uh, prime line leg curl. I'm just gonna keep the same method here. We're gonna do like one rest pull set and then one set of 10 10 10. And yeah, so far it's kicking my ass. So if it works, keep doing it. So, let's move for hamstrings that we're going to do is the uh, barbell RDL. Um, I'm going to end with these today. I said I put them in the middle. I don't want to go too heavy. I want to make sure I'm really focusing on the stretch rather than really trying to push weight. I want to really make sure my hamstrings are really feeling this muscle or yeah, really feeling this weight and not so much my back. So, I probably, I don't know how much heavier I'll go than this, honestly, but we'll see.
turn off a little back. We're gonna do this prime row. I got majority of the weight at the top, which is gonna make it harder on the stretch position. Really, my main goal is to really be able to stretch the lats out. That way, help them flare a lot more. But I got a lower back. Yeah. So for the next back, we found a movement here. We're gonna do assisted pull-ups. I don't know how many sets, but I like doing this. So that concludes hamstring back day. Um, we started with the uh, seated leg curl. We did one rest pause set to get to 30 reps. So we did about 10, 12 reps, rest 15 seconds, went again, rest 15 seconds, went again to hit about 20 reps. And then we did another set of different resistant patterns. We made it where it was the whole, the whole entire range of motion, and then the negative and the concentric part of it. We did 10, 10, 10, 30 reps total. And then we went over to the outer thigh machine. Pretty much same thing as we did for the seat leg row. One rest pause set, and then the 10, 10, 10 method. And then the seated or lying hamstring curl. Same thing, I was just liking the, the routine, so I just went with it for every exercise. One rest pause set, and then the 10, 10, 10 method. And then we did uh, barbell RDLs. I did about three sets. Uh, 10 to 12 reps and then we did um, a prime fitness row for back where I focused more on the stretch we loaded more of the top to get more of the uh, stretch portion and um, about 3 sets, 10 to 12 there and then I came over here for the sister pull ups picked a good weight we did about 3-4 sets 10-12 reps just to uh, keep blood into the back, keep it nice and full um, and yeah I kind of liked it so I'll probably keep this in where this was like the primary hamstring day with a little bit of back. And then I have my main back day toward the uh, beginning of the week. So this was a nice change. I'll, I'll see how this goes, keep it going. And uh, yeah, so hope you guys enjoyed this video as well. Like, subscribe, uh, leave a comment, whatever. And we'll see you for the next one.